Welcome. Within this video, I want to give an overview of the changes with the update of the site to the version 003. Now there has been a big part uh, that has changed on the back end, but I'll focus here on the front end, so uh, the changes that are visible to you. Of course, uh, you have to go to the uh, website adam4eve.eu uh, in order to see the changes. And the very first thing um, that you'll see is this red banner at the top. Um, this uh, banner informs you that the site uses cookies as well as a web analysis tool named PIVIC. Um, this information or banner is required by the a decision of the EU Parliament. And since I'm living in the EU and the site is hosted in the EU, I need to uh, comply to that, which is okay. Um, this banner will appear at the beginning of your session. So if you're um, visiting the site um, for the first time, then you'll see that banner. Either you switch pages uh, to any page um, or you click OK. Um, and of course, you can look at the imprint uh, by the imprint button up here or always at the bottom down here. So let's click OK in order to have the full interface and go to full screen. Second thing that you'll probably will notice is the different uh, menu system uh, that has been integrated. Um, it's now a drop down menu uh, since there's uh, more and more stuff added to the site, uh, which would make a, a one level menu too cluttered. And at the top, you also now see the version uh, that the site uh, currently is at. And by um, clicking on that, you can see the change log, uh, what has changed um, to the version 003 and uh, what's already been done for the next version. Back to the site. One of the less used features uh, is the crest availability uh, statistics. Um, so on every page you'll see if the current connection to crest is available. Um, so if the data is, is uh, up to date. Um, but if you uh, press on the button uh, up in the right, uh, then you get also a history uh, when Crest was available and when it was down. Obviously, it's uh, down on the normal EVE uh, downtime. Um, and uh, the performance uh, of Crest, uh, at least from the perspective of the server. Uh, what's changed here with uh, 003 is uh, previously the site was huge because uh, for the last month, every five minutes, a data point was being loaded. Um, this has now been optimized, so this page, as you've seen, um, is qu uh, loading quite quickly. Regarding citadels, uh, there is a complete new uh, page. Um, so you know the statistics page. Um, there's been only minimal uh, changes to the um, alive citadel uh, statistics. Um, now the site also has a page for the dead citadels. Um, so what you see here are the market citadels in the table to the left. Uh, the market citadels that uh, we had market orders in the past, um, but there are no market orders anymore for these citadels. Um, so either they, they died or they've been taken offline um, or the market module is not running anymore or simply there's no uh, orders um, in that market anymore. Or of course, they've been destroyed. On the right side, you see different graphs, how many citadels have been destroyed. Uh, databases of this, these graphs are the records that Z Killboard has. Uh, so latest entry is that um, over 900 Astraos citadels and uh, over 140 Zars 
have been destroyed in the past month. Um, you can see also see at the bottom, for example, um, a how many citadels in which region, um, so security region, have been destroyed. Um, for example, Fortizars, which are interesting for markets, um, they are mainly getting destroyed in Null. And uh, you can see here the effort um, uh, within HiSec um, to get the market citadels removed there, um, which has stopped uh, in the last weeks. So these statistics are now available in the Citadels menu. Um, if you choose MIA, Missing in Action menu item. A new feature is that you can click on the region or system name or even the Citadel name in order to get statistics uh, regarding that location. This applies to the MIA site as well as the normal statistics site. So for example, if we take, of course, uh, the forge, um, you just click on the region name here, for example, and it will load uh, general statistics regarding uh, that region. Um, at the top, uh, for example, a graph with the performed trades, so trades that have actually been filled. Um, and important for uh, most of these uh, graphs, uh, note that there are little checkboxes at the bottom of these graphs, because uh, for most of these regions uh, and the data uh, that has been displayed in the graphs, uh, this data, the data lines have very different values. So they, they are uh, in a very different value band. Uh, for example, if we trade, uh, take perform trade, um, the move is, is in the trillions, uh, whereas the uh, items that have been traded, uh, the commodity items that have been traded, uh, are in the billions. Uh, therefore, you uh, don't really see here at the bottom uh, this red line, um, because the move disk uh, just uh, outperforms all of that. However, if you go to the checkbox here and simply deselect move disk, then you've got that data line uh, for items traded and can see how uh, that developed. Same applies, uh, for example, for the kills. Um, the NPC kills always are a, a magnitude higher than the ship or pod kills. Um, therefore, if you're interested in the development of the ship kills, then uh, just simply hide the NPC kills and uh, then these metrics are a, a lot better visible and the development. Now also a word to the volume graph, because maybe you're wondering why this is uh, white. Um, I'm only gathering data um, for the separation or separating the data. Uh, of the uh, orders um, in NPC and PC, so um, those that NPCs provide and uh, those that real players uh, provide. Um, of course, the more interesting data is the player uh, provided content, um, so therefore this is being displayed uh, by default and uh, is currently being gathered and this graph will fill gradually. However, if you're interested in the overall volume, so including NPCs, then for example, if we take the total buy volume of orders, um, you can uh, select that also via the checkboxes and um, see what kind of uh, development the overall buy volume has. At the bottom, you have uh, then all the metrics in uh, a table, a spreadsheet form, um, which you can uh, sort whichever way you would like. Um, you can also drill out. Um, so in, in general, from each view, you can drill out. And the highest level is the uh, universe level. Uh, so that would be New Eden. Um, where you can see what is the overall development uh, across the whole EVE universe. 
um, for example uh, regarding kills um, and you can see that uh, currently about uh, nine million uh, NPCs are killed by uh, per day and uh, see that uh, for different regions as well um, so the highest ratting region would be Delve um, and if we want to uh, drill down again uh, let's take Delve it takes a bit uh, to create uh, to, to get the data um, so we see this in Delve and in Delve we see oh, the, uh, the, the ratting has increased significantly in the last weeks that's interesting um, so again, let's see with the largest rating uh, system that would be uh, PS minus 94K. And if we go there, uh, drill down into that, uh, that system, solar system, um, then um, again, this is being reflected there. Um, please note that, for example, the perform trade um, graph is always on a region level. Um, this is not provided on a, on a more detailed level. Therefore, it, if you're drilling down, this will remain on a region level. And if you, for example, now take uh, the only station that is in this system and drill down to that station, um, then of course the uh, the jumps and the kills uh, will remain on a solar system level whereas the volumes uh, are really on a station level which now here doesn't make any difference to the uh, solar system view since there's only one station so this is la allows you uh, to view uh, different statistics and metrics uh, on different uh, levels of the EVE universe. There are also two features that uh, should be considered in a beta uh, state um, that have been made public with the new version. You'll find them in the market um, tab and there, for example, the market search. Um, this allows you to uh, get a list of commodities uh, according to, well, your preferences here. Um, let's make an example. Let's take oh, ships and um, T2 ships. Bloop, 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 bloop. Set filter. So uh, we have T2 ships, that's a little short the list, let's make it bigger. And um, we're interested in, well, the volume, the current sell price, uh, that's uh, currently only Jeter, and the price differences. And let's sort this for the delta of week in a descending order, and uh, we see here, um, how the price or the, the biggest price changes um, of T2 ships. Now, um, the top of the list is, for example, the Kirin. So if we look at the Kirin, um, then indeed we see that the sell price has significantly increased, uh, put this here, has significantly increased within the last week. Um, so this is the goal of this search, uh, to allow you to um, define different parameters um, and to sort uh, according to these different parameters in order to find, um, well, the commodities uh, that you search. The second feature is the Trade Advisor. Um, the Trade Advisor, again, um, is beta. Is, has a limited uh, feature set currently. Uh, it only allows station to station uh, search and only a sell to buy orders, so immediate trades. Um, let's make an example here as well. Let's take Jita, of course. And we go uh, as it was already um, proposed in that field, the RENS trade hub. Uh, we can't change anything here. We'll leave those settings here and we search and 
it seems that uh, the most profit uh, can currently be made, uh, at least with one commodity, um, with burnt logic circuits, um, which means that um, you need to invest 100 ISK in order to get 4.6 million ISK out of that trade. Um, and that trade is immediate. Uh, so different uh, information here uh, regarding, so you buy this for uh, 58k uh, and sell it for 61k uh, in rents. Um, you can of course uh, combine your uh, run, since this is only 17 uh, in cargo volume, uh, with other commodities that are listed here. If you want to see details on the uh, proposed trades, um, you can click on the uh, magnifying glass and uh, you'll see which uh, sell orders in JITA you would need to take and which buy orders in RENs you would fill. Of course, um, again, this is currently beta. Um, it is planned to have this expanded, as you can already see in the, the, the form fields, which are currently disabled, um, expanded to, to a much higher uh, search radius, uh, so to speak. Um, but um, if you want, you can use it uh, and provide feedback. And that's all that has changed with the new version. Um, I would be happy if you give me feedback on it. Uh, if we, if you encounter any bugs, um, please let me know. Um, only if you let me know, then I can fix them. And uh, if you see anything that you like, if you see anything that you would uh, like to have expanded, um, anything uh, that would help you, uh, again, if you mention it to me, uh, there is a high chance uh, that it might make it into the next uh, or one of the next releases. Thank you for watching and speak to you next time.